Okay, can we have two volunteers before we get started? Yeah, I'll do it. Woo! Okay, Mallory right. and Michaela. So go ahead and stand right here. Perfect. So you're each getting a piece of paper. And so I want you to read your options, but don't read them out loud. Just read them to yourself. And you're going to pick one of the two options, okay? So when I ask you, just tell me which option you pick, number one or number two. Okay? So, Michaela, we're going to start with you. Which option would you like to do? Number one. Okay. So go ahead and do that. Right now. <laughs> that is acceptable. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. I'm going to win. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So now everybody in the room gets a piece of candy, so go ahead and take one. Oh. Okay. Mallory? Um, I'll choose this. number two. Okay, cool. Okay, so just hold on, please, for just one thing. Okay, okay. now, Michaela, read your options out loud. Uh, do ten jumping jacks, and the whole group will get a piece of candy, including you. And number two, take a mini candy for yourself. So why did you choose option one? Because then everybody's happy. And I get to work off the candy that I ate. <laughs> Sweet. That's a good reason. Okay, Mallory. Okay, Mallory. All right. Number one is take a king size candy for yourself. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Almost did it. <laughs> and number two, take five mini candies to give to others. So I chose number two. So why did you choose number two? Yeah, this was actually really hard for me because <laughs> um, the king size candy, like, I'm pretty hungry right now. That sounds really good. But then, like, thinking about it and, like, what... What would Jesus do? I probably should like give candy to give to other people because it would just make them happy as well. And, and you always feel better like when you're sharing with others anyway, so. Yeah. Thank you very much. And you can go ahead and pass with that. You're <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, now we all want you we want you all to quietly reflect on their choices that they were given and try to think about if you would do similar things in their situation different thing and why you would choose the option, option that you did. Yeah, so we all have different motivations for why we do things, right? So in one of those cases, right, Michaela had to do something in order for everybody else to get candy. She had to do 10 jumping jacks. Or she could have taken the easy option and just gotten the one little one for herself. In Mallory's situation, right, she could have taken something for herself without having to do anything at all, but chose to give to other people. Um, and for each of us, I'm sure that we all have different motivations behind what we do. Um, so as far as thinking about selfishness versus selflessness, right, Michaela and Mallory both chose the selfless option. I just want you guys to, again, think about um, why you're here and why serve. Why are you doing the things you're doing? Is it because you want a resume builder? Is it because you want to look for new friends? Or kind of those um, selfish reasons for joining serve, Or is it the selfish reasons just because you actually want to go out and help others? Right. So in my own experience, personally, um, about two years ago, I walked into the YSERV office and I asked him how to get involved. And in the back of my mind, I was thinking, okay, I'm on my way to medical school, so basically I need 3,000 hours of service before I graduate, right? So my first thought was, okay, where's the best place to go, YSERV? So initially, my motivation was to have that resume builder, to have that application booster so that when people looked at it, they'd see, oh, this girl did so much service we should accept her. That was my motivation originally. But I started doing service, I was involved in a couple different programs, um, and eventually my motivation changed. Yeah, it was cool that I was getting um, a bunch of service hours that I could put on a resume or an application, but I fell in love with the people that I served. Um, and I think that happens to a lot of us, right? We might have these, like Molly was saying, these motivations that are kind of selfish, you know, but there's still that selflessness, right? That still gets you in the door, and then our motivations change there. Yeah, for sure. And if you are struggling, this is one of the harder guiding principles. I think it's one that you can't just say, I'm going to respect today. Like, selflessness is from within. So if you're struggling with it, I invite you to pray to God to have him help you to feel more selfless in your programs and in your service so that your service can be more meaningful. And we say these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen.